Hi guys, welcome to the new section, Clustering and Feature Selection. In this section, we will cluster data points using the k-means algorithm. Then, we'll cluster data from classes. Later, we'll learn association rules from data and selecting features and attributes. Now, moving on to the first video of this section, Clustering data points using the k-means algorithm. In this video, we will use the k-means algorithm to group data points of a dataset together. Create a new project, Weka Cluster Test, and add Weka as external library. Add these lines of code and import instances and simple k-means from Weka. We use the CPU dataset to cluster its data points based on a simple k-means algorithm. The CPU dataset can be found in the data directory of the installed folder in the Weka directory. We will be having two instance variables. The first variable will be containing the data points of the CPU dataset, and the second variable will be our simple k-means clusterer. Then, we create a method to load the CPU dataset and to read its contents. We import data source. Note that as clustering is an unsupervised method, we do not need to specify the class attribute of our dataset. Next, create our method to develop the clusterer. We then instantiate the cluster and set the value of seed to 10. The seed will be used to generate a random number, and it takes an integer value. Then, we tell the clusterer to preserve the order of the data instances as it is. If you feel that you will not maintain the order of the instances in the dataset, you can set the parameter of the set preserve instances order method to false. We also set the number of clusters to 10. And finally, we build the clusters from the CPU dataset. Next, we get each instance and cluster number assigned to them by the simple k-means algorithm using a for loop. Close the try catch block and add this block of code to call the methods we've created. When we run the code, we see that the cpu.arff file has 209 data instances.